I think it's our jobs as human beings to pick one another up. Life's hard, so we're all trying to make the best of, of the cars that we're dealt. So I'm always trying to pick other people up. I originally grew up in a place called Tifton, Georgia. Small house, uh, small neighborhood. There was a lot of playing in the streets. We had our best friends in the neighborhood, and we were always kind of getting in the mischief together. Once I got to be about the fourth or fifth grade, we moved out to the country. So I spent the next half of my life in the woods. That was a whole different way of life. I think the discovery of music came at an early age because one, my mom played organ in the church. My dad, he was all about the singer-songwriters, Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, and then he loved like The Temptations and Sam Cooke. So at an early age, that was infiltrating my blood. I first started playing in the bars. I was, you know, playing for my rent through college. Where I came from, I didn't really hear about people making it as artists or songwriters. That was just kind of a foreign thing to me. And it wasn't until I moved to Hawaii and I was kind of living in this hut and I was playing music one night and around this gathering and somebody was like, you know, these, these songs are great. You should, you should move to Nashville and try to be a songwriter. Well, I've been living like a wild old Mustang out in Montana. I moved to Nashville around 2004. You know, for the first five years, it was, it was trying times. You know, I lived in a lot of dives. Um, I lived in, you know, garage apartments and I went two winters with no heat. I doubted myself every day. Here I was. 28 years old and I'd spent the last eight years of my life pursuing something that I had nothing to show for. It's a very isolating and lonely journey at times, but there was one thing that would happen that would keep my feet moving from one day to the next. And I always had that feeling that lightning could strike at any moment in my life. A really famous songwriter here in Nashville, Brett James, he saw something special in me and he nurtured that. He discovered me, signed me to a publishing deal. A lot of people are like, okay, well, two years, we need to drop him, we need to move on to another person. And Brett was always my guy that was behind me. Seeing someone smile over your songs and reciting the lyrics back to you and saying, wow, I love this line. I always took joy in the small things. Through all that, I found a, a passionate fan base that was waiting on me regardless. I also found a sense of peace in myself I can't let those circumstances worry me anymore. The way this life is supposed to unfold is gonna unfold the way it's meant to be anyway. State Farm Neighborhood Sessions celebrates great artists who inspire us to give back to our neighborhoods. For part two of Kip Moore's story, go to neighborhoodsessions.com.